Welcome back folks. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2000 Auto Sleeper Executive on a Peugeot Boxer chassis. This is special for a few reasons. This is going to be on sale on auction with no reserve, one of my famous auctions. Please don't ask to end the auction early. It will never happen. It's never happened in the past. I don't intend to happen in the future. The advert link will be underneath this video and there'll be a link there straight through to the eBay page. And this will be on sale strictly with no reserve. Why is it exciting? Petrol, two litre petrol, super rare. Obviously uh, we are in the 2024 now. Going back five, six, seven years ago, everyone was mostly wanting diesels. The government were pushing us down the diesels. Now we're told to go down the petrol route. It's not for me to advise you. The situation now in 2024, as I seem to have three sets of customers, one customer will only have a diesel, one set of customers will only have a petrol, and the middle third will have a diesel or a petrol as long as it's the right vehicle. Obviously, there's pluses and negatives. On this particular one, obviously, it's ULES compliant, city compliant, cheaper to service, and it's only done 41,000 miles. So there's lots of camper vans, especially the Japanese imports that are petrol, but it's super rare to get a, a petrol motorhome, and this is what we have. It's only had the three owners. The last guy, Morris, uh, he had it from 2012. So he's had it for 12 years. The previous owner had it for five years and the first owner had it for seven years. So it's only had the two former keepers. The only chink, the only negative I can come up with is the paperwork trail. We've got a raft of paperwork and the last owner told the dealer where I got it from that the last owner, the second owner, lost the service history book in a, in a house move and the last owner was servicing it themselves. So we've got the auto sleeper manual, all the engineers' manuals, MOT, log book. We've got everything except service history. Now, if you check the MOT history online, X-Ray 234 Delta Lima Golf, <coughs> coming to my ownership a couple of weeks ago, I looked at the MOT history, and it had just been MOT'd not long ago, and it had come up with, I think there was a, not a break in balance, there was a slight brake drag Basically, maybe the caliper was sticking. I think it was the near side. In fact, I know it was the near side. Um, uh, an advisory for the brake discs or the pads. A couple of brake ferrules, which just needed cleaning up. And there was something else. Oh, yes. There was an advisory on the sills for a little bit of corrosion. Oh, boy. The last MOT guy must have been fussy. But I'm not, I can't tolerate any advisories for anything to do with brakes or anything to do with corrosion. So... I've had both of the inner sills welded to a real good professional standard and that'll last for another 20 years. It's not just being filled, it's not just being tacked, proper plated professional welds. So I've had that done. I'm going to be putting some pictures when you look underneath at the description, the eBay advert, and I'll do you a couple of pictures showing those welds that I've had done on the inner sills. I've had you front pads and discs fitted, both sides, a caliper, hose, so everything is perfect now. I've checked it over. Just a couple of the exhaust rubbers were just starting to crack a little bit. I know the weak spots on these campers. I've had enough of these over the years. So I put a couple of exhaust rubbers on, presented it for a new MOT. Hey presto, new 12 months MOT without a single advisory. That's how we like to leave these vehicles. It's a pleasure to bring an auto sleeper back to its former glory. I'll go further than that. So this week, while it's on auction, it's booted in at the garage. It's going to have a timing belt, water pump, oil filter, fuel filter, air filter, and of course, oil change. So it won't for nothing. <coughs> we'll go for a test drive shortly, but it drives good. I'm happy to put my name on it. 41,000 miles. Now, I think it was, was it 20? Can't remember off the top of my head. 2014 or 2012. Check the MOT history. I think it was the 5th of January 2014, the last MOT guy put 3,100 miles on the computer. A little glitch in the matrix there, we just lost the camera battery. Anyway, so what I was saying is about the 3,100 miles, and from memory it was the 5th of June 2014. 
So uh, the owner realised when he got home that night, went straight back to the MOT station. They put it in at the correct 31,000 miles. So you'll see on the 6th of June 2014, it was the correct 31,000 miles. It's now on 41,000 and I'm happy to put my name to it and I'll guarantee that mileage. So yeah, this is the famous auto sleeper design, the executive with the monocoque body, what auto sleepers are famous for, which basically means one piece fiberglass body. So not many places to leak. Obviously there's windows, there's a chimney stack, but we've checked everything and everything seems okay. It's also had just had a habitation service. Uh, there was a couple of fuses gone. There was a, a couple of bulbs that you had to change. The fridge needed a service. There was something else. It'll come to me in a minute. And of course, we've done the obli bl get, get my words out obligatory um, gas hose and regulator. So that's got a Cala gas bottle in there. And that's the butane bottle. So you've got a large butane bottle there, new hose and regulator. So it's been issued now with a new independent habitation certificate. So yeah, I'm happy to put my name to it and I'll give you three months total warranty. So coming around the side, we've got the Fiorma F45 Plus awning. My uh, voice is struggling. I've just been to Spain for the week with the boys. I'm telling the wife that I've caught a bug, but I'm probably sure I'm uh, alcohol poisoned. So we've got the leisure door there. We've got the step. Of course, I'm gonna take you in shortly. We'll even go for a little drive. On the rear, someone's fitted a tow bar. So it's got a nice large tow bar. Uh, we've got a Fiorma 2 bike rack. As you can see there, we've got the ladders up to the roof. <coughs> uh, no, nothing negative to report really on the bodywork. It's fantastic for the year. Of course, we've got the standard Thetford cassette toilet. So we've got the cassette toilet here and access for the um, flush chemicals, Caravanners Rhyme, blue for the loo, pink for the stink. So pink for the flush and blue for the loo. What else have we got? Ah, I knew there was something else. Yeah, there was a crack here that was annoying me and the habitation guy. So he's put you a brand new um, electrical hookup flap there. And there's your electrical hookup. So you've got mains hookup. Uh, there's the winter cover. It's just clipped on. I'll need a screwdriver to pull that off. But that is for the Truma for heating the hot water on grass. We've got the water, fresh water inlet there. It's a bit creaky on the door hinges. We might get that grease for you. Um, yeah, 41,000 miles in the interior. I'm going to take you in the interior shortly. We'll have a quick look under the bonnet and then we'll go for a drive. So of course all this will be fitted, the oil, the oil filter, air filter, fuel filter, timing belt and water pump. <coughs> Once I've fitted that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna upgrade you. I'm gonna give you six months warranty on that engine. Once the oil, water pump's been fitted, the oil filter, everything, I'll give you six months on the engine and three months total warranty. So you'll have the air filter in there, fuel filter goes underneath there, of course the oil and the oil filter and the timing belt and pump. Yeah, everything is really presentable. So it's November 2000, so that makes it, it's coming up to 24 years old. It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic for the year. I'm just looking at the bodywork to find any blemishes. Uh, no, I'm going to struggle here. Little bit of a scratch here, and that will probably take or beat buff out. But no, I'm going to struggle here. This is well above the average, so it's been a pleasure to bring this back to its former glory. You know what? Let's go out for a drive.
Okay, let's have that little drive I promised you. Ignition on. Armrest down. Look at those lovely armrests on both sides as well. They do know how to build a motorhome to auto sleeper, but you know my love of auto sleepers. Five speed manual power steering, and that's about it. Wind up windows. Have we got central locking? No. Off we go safely. Yeah, it does drive nice, this old girl. All the gears are there. The gears and the things are a little bit agricultural by today's standard, but everything does. There's no crunches, no clunks. Steering wheels in the centre. As I say, by today's standards, you may say a little bit old fashioned, but if you want the new design, you go and price up a brand new auto sleeper. You will be on the equivalent, this one brand new now will be there won't be any change out about a hundred thousand pound but as i say you'll dictate the price sometimes the auctions make a little bit less sometimes they make a little bit more but on average everything works out okay third gear up to 30 mile an hour <coughs> just gently accelerate my voice is gonna hopefully hold out so we're in fourth gear now 32 mile an hour 35 we'll just come around the little chicane here and take it up to the national speed limit adjust this of course the passenger seat is a captain swivel seat and as I've mentioned this week during the auction it's booked in and all this service equipment will be fitted so yeah I'll be happy to put my name to it I'll include that three months warranty and my normal delivery method I take a 500 pound deposit on the strength of that I will deliver it anywhere in the United Kingdom all I ask for is a £100 contribution for the fuel and the train ticket back, and of course, only if you're happy. Right, accelerating. We've got a car in front of us. We've gone 40 mile an hour. We're just into fourth gear now. 45, 50. Yeah, this is lively. It's a two litre petrol, but no problem whatsoever. I've driven this. I'm going to run out of road here. I'm going to have to slow down now because the car in front. We'll see if we can get it up to 55, but its happy speed is about 60 mile an hour. Right, foot down. Yeah, this is travelling fine. So as I say, it's happy speed, it's 55, 60. You'll cruise all day long. You could get 65, 70 out of this, but it's happy speed. I would say it's 55, 60, centre lane of the motorway. 41,000 miles, steering wheel lovely, dead centre. Yeah, this is a delight. I'm glad I've brought this back, I've had it cleaned up, I've done all my buttons and bezels, of course the full works, the servicing, the brakes, it's nice to recommission one of these old girls. There's another 20 years life left in this old girl. Okay, we'll come outside, I'll take over the camera and I'm going to show you around. I did say it drives nice folks, so I'll be happy to deliver this anywhere in the United Kingdom. All I ask is a £500 deposit and I'll even refund you that back if you're not, being, you're not happy upon delivery and viewing. No one's ever needed a refund yet. Let's hope you're not going to be the first. But yeah, I'll deliver this anywhere in the country. <laughs> so uh, I'll just take you around and I'll take over the camera and I'll take you inside and show you all the lovely features. Okay. So back in charge of the camera now. I just thought I'd wind out the awning and show you that and also show you both beds. So there you have the magnificent large queen size bed. So this is six and a half foot, six foot six width. And from the back of the seats to here is six foot two. And of course you've got the upstairs bed as well. It's technically a double. And auto sleeper being auto sleeper, look at how good the engineering's gone into that to do a fold up metal ladder. And of course, that just clips into the brackets. An auto sleeper, don't miss a trick. There's even the netting here. That netting comes up here and clips on both sides. So if you've got any children, they're not going to fall out. And that is, I would say, about three and three quarter feet wide by about still 
it's just a shade under six foot wide or long depending on where you are and of course you just put that mattress all foam covered that goes over to there little clip across there little clip across there and then if you're only using it as a two berth obviously you've got the extra headroom just a little, little thing to point out before I forget auto sleepers always have have plugged plugged in the mains hookup lead now and they always have one light and one light only that works on mains so that will never work when you're wild camping off the 12 volt the other thing that a lot of oh last stone has left you a plug I'll come to that in a minute another this button can be hidden behind the curtains and the amount of auto sleep owners or buy them in six months oh, all my lights are not working that's an override so you can be lying in bed press that button and that will switch off all the lights all at once if you can see like that okay I'll step back in now and I'll show you with the table and the passenger seat buff both folded back in the leisure facility position so back in now I've made the beds back into the sofa so it's a very easy operation two little clips there one there and one there that comes in this side comes all the way across and you use that as the filling cushion that only comes that section you remove that maybe put it in the wet room or on the top and two little filling cushions uh, where are they they're lurking ah there they are underneath there so yeah two little filling cushions fill in behind there while i'm talking about behind that sofa uh, typical auto sleeper everything's got a place so it has a place for two tables small table there that clips into the rattle free when you're driving also the solid wood now those two have the chrome legs little places for them in the wardrobe and they position one there i've just put some carpets over just not mark the carpets another one there now a previous owner that is not an auto sleeper but they've done a good job that is actually an auto sleeper leg but somebody has just a little bit of timber there a lovely little bracket and then you've got an extra position there for a table now i can see why that makes sense so you've got the two table legs there so you can have a large and small or vice versa or you can have the large double bed made up and somebody can be sat at the front if they so wish why somebody was having a lazy morning but there you have it so yeah so this is the with the bracket up little clip there everything's designed so well and look of course i've changed all your buttons and bezels all the way through i've even changed the knobs on the wine cabinet to match i think there was oh yeah here yeah, another little bracket here so i've changed those all the way through so it's the executive formula two side sofas i've even changed all the buttons and bezels down below and you've got large table, oh, large drawers here. Bring it across. Under here, you've got a control panel for the hot water system. You shouldn't need to access in there, but obviously you can put the hand in there or engineers can access parts. Uh, that is for heating the hot water on mains. And if you wanted to heat the hot water on gas, we just press this and the green light there. Heater will work on mains or electric. So to mains, just put it on the on switch there. We've got half a kilowatt, one kilowatt or two kilowatts. Or we've got the gas operation. You just have not got the gas on at the moment. You just turn that round to the 10 position. Hold in. It will spark, spark, spark and it will ignite and you'll see a blue flame there. And that will work on gas. Again, everything's designed to work on mains or while camping. So the fridge will work on your three ways on the engine battery when you're driving, mains when you're plugged in a campsite or at home, or you've got the gas facility if you're off the grid. But these are so well designed. If you've got that charged on mains as well as topped up when you're driving, that will stay milk cold for up to 24 hours. But if you're wild camping for any further than 24 hours, you've got the gas facility. Uh, that's not an auto sleeper part, but 
it's not a bad thing actually a good solid piece of glass there that's just protecting the worktop there so you can see clearly there you've got the passenger swivel seat little turnbuckle catches here and those come across and if you want the largest side cushion infills there you bring them in from the top just put that across uh, you've got the fly nets as well as the blinds everything's been checked and working you've got the override switch for the lights you've got the 12 volt supply there as well as a tv aerial and this one a previous owner's put your leisure and it's showing 13.6 volts so we know solar panel rather so it's got a solar panel and you can actually bypass it and switch it on and off there auto sleeper very straightforward control panel that's where your fuses are for the leisure that's the control box for the solar and you've got the TV booster. Look at that spotless. Hot and cold water in the sink, drain board, totally spotless. Cooker, grill, same story, spotless. Underneath the sink, you've got storage, override safety catches for the gas, cutlery drawer, and of course, it's all solid timber auto sleeper through and through build quality second to none and the all import oh now we've got the wine cabinet now these are plastic flutes but they are the original glass auto sleeper wine glasses and what have we got in here we've got the original <coughs> I did say my voice is not going to hold up the original auto sleeper crockery wow we just push that with one finger, hey presto, and that closes. Look at those gaps, everything beautiful, solid wood. Anything else to show you? Of course, lots of cupboards and storage. Wardrobe, so I've shown you the two crank handles. That's for the stabilizers at the back if you wanted, if you was on a, an uneven surface mains fuse box oh lost owners even left you some uh, clothes pegs or clothes pegs um, curtain rails and for putting your clothes on what have we got there just a bracket an extra space above the wardrobe going into the wet room again it's spotless in here again another mark it's been sanitized drop down sink hot and cold water Vanity mirror, shower, we've got the blackout blind, that's working as well as the fly net opening window. And look at the shower tray, absolutely spotless, not a mark, no cracks or anything, towel rail, extra cupboards above the kitchen, galley area. Yeah, this is just lovely. All the upholstery, there's not a mark or two. This is definitely going to uh, delight the next owner and it will stand up to a fussy inspection. So I'll just walk you around back outside the inside, uh, outside rather. It's got an extra tray underneath the cooker. So just to recap, so this is a 2000 delightful model this has been a real pleasure to bring it back to its former glory especially once i've done all the full service carry pack out i've just noticed that this service kit is missing can you guess i did say it was a petrol so we've got an air filter timing belt water pump fuel filter oil filter oil spark plugs they've missed the spark plugs out so we'll have you four new spark plugs as well so just to recap folks this is a 2000 on the X-Reg Auto Sleeper Executive with a famous monocoque one-piece fiberglass body on auction with no reserve. Check out the MOT history. I've just had a couple of advisories done, so I'm happy to put my name to it. It will carry my three months total warranty, and I'll happy to put six months on the engine after all that engine servicing has been carried out. My name's Anthony Valentine, the camper nerd. The advert link will be underneath the video description on my eBay page. It'll be on sale strictly with no reserve. 
And next coming up on auction, we've got a couple of beauties. We've got a road star, that's a four berth, so you've got two above there and the U-shaped lounge. That's just arrived, one of our popular models. 2001 Auto Sleeper Clubman GL. That's a two berth VW 2.5 diesel. Um, what else have we got coming up? Um, that's just been listed at a fixed price of £18,000. And I'm going to be putting that one on auction. I've been using that on and off myself for the last year. It's an auto trail Cheyenne, six berth. So we've got the two side dinette, U-shaped lounge at the back, which I've made into a fixed bed permanently, or I've been using it that way, and two berth above. So I'm going to get that MOT'd and that will be coming on auction shortly. I've got an auto sleeper Pescara, which is an earlier version of this. And there's an auto sleeper symbol due in and a couple more. So watch out on my future videos. If you like and subscribe, you'll be notified first. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on that next video, folks.